Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss a recent radio appearance featuring Scream 7 director Christopher Landon and his comments regarding Radio Silence, who of course directed Scream 5 and 6, and the real reason why they did not return to direct Scream 7. Now, he also gives insight into him being selected as the new director to lead the franchise into the future and whether that was expected or unexpected to happen. So, it's time to dive in and see what Christopher had to say. Let's go! It's David Arquette, Dewey from the Scream movies, as you know. Remember, there's only one rule to surviving a horror movie. And that's subscribing to Craven Something Scary. So Christopher Landon appeared on the Sirius XM radio show Pop Culture Spotlight, hosted by Jessica Shaw. Now, in this interview, he was asked if the Scream 7 director's role was something that had been talked about for a long time, or did it come up suddenly? Now, it was during his answer to that question that he opened up about radio silence and why they did not return for Scream 7. Now, Christopher had this to say in response to the question of how the offer came to be to take over for Scream 7. And quote, it came out of the blue for me. My understanding is that there were conversations happening for some time, but I think it was just an opportunity that really arose because the other directors who did the last two films, Tyler and Matt, they wanted to do something else. They were ready to kind of do something different. That's when they obviously had to find someone new. And I've known Kevin Williamson, who wrote the original film for a long, long time, and he's a friend. And you know, I think he threw my name into the hat and everyone kind of said, yeah, that makes sense. That seems to make sense. And I was just thrilled that I got that call because it felt very, um, it felt very uh, like kismet. It felt like a thing that like was always meant to be. And so there it is, end quote. So there it is, guys. So a couple of things in this that I that jump out to me. Number one, um, Kevin Williamson, the relationship with Kevin Williamson, which I think is fantastic because we know there wasn't a pre-existing relationship with Kevin Williamson in Radio Silence. So the fact that these two are friends, longtime friends, I think could, could, could really potentially impact Scream 7, especially when you think about uh, Christopher Landon, not only as a director, but as a writer, he can do both. Now, of course, James and Guy, as of this point in time, are writing the movie, but I've said many times, that does not mean Christopher cannot review that script, make suggestions, change things when they're filming it so that it makes more sense. And having that relationship with Kevin Williamson, who is still on as executive producer, we don't know really to what extent Kevin's involved at this point, whether he's just literally uh, an executive producer in name, or if he has any input at all. But here's what we do know, is that they have a relationship. That's new information that we've learned. So at least there's a potential there that he could get with Kevin on stuff and perhaps clean up some of the writing if it needs to be in this movie. So that's really cool. And and he thinks Kevin put his name in the hat and that's, that's awesome. Um, now, the second part I wanna talk about though is the radio silence part which just, it reinforces what some of us were thinking 
It's more than just a scheduling issue. And that's the biggest takeaway from this quote about radio silence, because you know, a lot of us were speculating and a lot of people in the community were thinking it's strictly scheduling. You know, that radio silence would come back if they could work out uh, their scheduling with other films they're committed to, the Universal Monster movie, as we know, Escape from New York, uh, and then could be other projects we haven't even been, or they haven't even announced yet, for all we know. But that was always thought to be the main factor in them not coming back to Scream 7. Well, what's interesting here is that Christopher sheds additional light on it. I think that certainly could be a factor as well. But he really hammered in on the fact that Matt and Tyler, they wanted to do something else. Like they, they were just kind of ready to move on. They wanted to find something else. Uh, they were ready. To, they think they were ready to step away from making screen movies. You know, did two in a row, and that was for them. That was enough. They were ready to go on. So that's interesting, guys. So it, it looks like even if the scheduling had not been an issue, if their schedule had been wide open, from what Christopher says here, it looks to me like they would not have been back in any way. It wasn't going to happen uh, because they were they didn't want to come back. They were they were content with their contribution to the Scream franchise with two films and they're ready to move on. So and they are and they did. So and now we're back with Christopher Landon at the helm. And I have said since this was announced and when I first shared the news back in July with you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, before it even was public, um, you know, it, it, it's the right choice. To me, it's the absolute right choice. And he feels the same way. I love that. Um, he says it felt very kismet, which basically just means felt like destiny. Felt like it was fate. It was destined. It was, and then he said, oh, it was always meant to be. And so I think he's an outstanding choice. I'm going to say that again. I think he has the experience to make Seven an outstanding film. I think he's got the writing chops that he could course correct any potential continuity issues in the writing or any plot holes or anything that's really going to jump out as to us as the audience watching this movie. He'll, I believe he'll catch it and correct it. And I'm very excited about that. And, and, and not to mention, you know, again, knowing his relationship with Kevin Williamson, that doesn't hurt anything at all. If anything, it helps. It helps the situation. So I'm very excited about it. You guys know that. I've been talking about it for a month now. And I think he's the right guy. So if you guys are, are, are concerned out there, look, I understand it's always nervous uh, or nerve wracking when someone new takes over a franchise that we love so dearly. But I will tell you this, I am optimistic. I'm excited because I personally believe he's the right guy for the job and he's got it. All right, everyone. I want to know what you think about these, um, you know, this, this information about radio silence, what we learned about them really being ready to move on from Scream. Um, what do you think about that? Um, let me know your thoughts and any ideas you have about uh, Christopher Landon taking over uh, in general. Uh, leave those down below in the comments section so that we can discuss it together. And I always say this, I truly enjoy reading your comments and your ideas and your theories. They're really entertaining. So please do that right now. Well, that's going to be it for this update. I'll be back with more Scream and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craven Something Scary where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching, guys.